my name is Isla and this is my quick three minute teach me presentation about Quizlet. So this is Quizlet, it's a website where you can um, put in lists of words or questions um, or terms that you want students to revise and they can practice them in lots of different ways. So basically Google Quizlet, register and then you can start creating. And if you want to create something, you click on this button here, create a set. Basically what you do, I'm going to show you an example, is you create a list. So this is one here um, on places. So on my list here, I've just done this for entry one learners, the name of the place and a picture that explains it. Now once I've got my list, I can then turn these resources into all of these activities at the top that learners can go on and play and learn and practice. So we have flashcards oh, where it reads it aloud as well and they can read and understand. Um, A post office. Okay, they can learn them. What's that? Mm. And type in the answer. Oh, see, I should have said a cinema. Whoops. And then I carry on. Um, there's a spelling bit. A cinema. So this lovely uh, American lady says it for me. And if I type it correctly. A space mm, C I N E I keep forgetting the A. A, a cinema. Uh, and if I get it right, a it goes green. And if I get it wrong. Blah, 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 a space it tells me off. U P E R M A R K E T a supermarket. Very politely and tells me how to spell it. There's also a test, and on the test, I think this is really cool. You can print these out or you can make them online, um, but you can make any combination of these different types of questions, and it makes a new test for you, which is a great recap activity at the start of a lesson. And then you've got these cool games that you can play where all the words scatter across the page and you have to match them and this one called race where if you have like a whole class of students sign up to this they can race against each other and try and be the leader on the scoreboard and things like that so there I think I am meant to write in very quickly the word that's passing and there we go and then you get onto a scoreboard. So there are tons and tons of things that you can do. I've got 10 seconds left um, and I can't explain it anymore and I really hope that you try out this website because it's brilliant. Thanks, bye!